We are live on YouTube. Usually starts at uh, 9.30 and we are not 11.07 and we're starting a live stream. Why not? Why not? Uh, so, uh, make sure I mute myself on the other side so I can actually see the, the chat coming in. I was busy in the shed. I'm all sweaty. I'm all full of sawdust. Um, look at all the nice sawdust. You guys probably can't see that, but there's a lot of sawdust. Uh, building a big bridge, a uh, covered bridge. It's going to be six foot long. The bridge actually is seven foot long, um, uh, but the covered bridge is going to be uh, six foot. So it's going to be and two feet wide and 16 inch high. So it's going to be pretty cool. Hey, Tony, I, I did send you an invite if you want to jump in. JP Slayer, how you doing? John Martin, I did send everybody an email. You should have received it all. Sorry, I'm late. But uh, you can start your video now, Easy Froggy. Send everybody an email. You should have received it all. John Martin, your video, your audio is on on the other stream. Video now. Yep. Easy Froggy. There we go. There we go. You'd think Hello, he was a everyone. newbie at this. <laughs> What's that? You'd think you're a newbie at that. <laughs> No, it was, I was opening it up and list, listening to you on the other one. Ah, okay. I just hadn't gotten a chance to flip over to it yet. <laughs> so I was in my shed working at the back, and I sent a picture to Tony. Um, I guess I could send that one. So that's what I got so far done. Wow. I, I decided not to put okay, anything on the bottom. So theoretically, a car could actually jump off the bridge if they want to, because they can actually turn. The bridge is two feet wide. So it should be interesting. Yeah. I'll prepare another picture to show you guys. I'll send it to Tony. It's going to be easier for me to actually see it. <laughs> Do, 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 do. So what have you guys been up to? Soldering. 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 And swearing a lot. <laughs> Not way. a whole lot here. I've been hurting too much to do a whole lot after last Saturday's race. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm going to have to cut back on some of the racing I do. I'll just end up helping out at the races, going back and forth between that area, my pit area, and then back to the driver's stand and all like that, and loading the car and unloading it is just killing me. Yeah. Yeah, I've been trying to get an ESC and motor together. For uh, your dragster? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I got to yeah, solder. I got to solder all the ESC wires to the motor and to the. That's five ESC minutes. And I'm. Five yeah, minutes. well, yeah, yeah uh, uh huh, yeah. <laughs> I get one. I get one wire hooked up. I go to hook up the next wire, and the second wire that I just put on fell off. <laughs> wow. Oh. You, you, know, you know how that goes. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Brand new Hobby Wing ESC. I put it in my bomber class truck or car right. the other day for the race on Saturday. It made it a lap and a half and shut down. Oh. Yeah. Did you have your motor tuned up too high? No. I've run, I ran another one exactly the same setup. No problems. Hmm. I ended up having to use that in something else. So I got another one. Set it up the same way. And it didn't go. I put a stock XL5 back in it. Runs great. Wow. So here's a better picture of the uh, bridge I was working on. So this piece from here to here is six feet long. 
two feet wide. And then this is 16, a little over 16 inch wide. So people are actually going to be able to jump off the truck, if they, uh, jump off the bridge if they want with their truck. Nice. Hey, Aaron, good to see you in here. Pardon me? Aaron, RC Sparks showed up. Oh, yeah? Yep, he's in the chat. Cool. He hey, said, no, oh, nice bridge. Yeah, it's a covered bridge. I don't have a covered bridge on my trail, so I got a big, long trail. It takes about, when people come over, about three hours for them to go through it. Uh, so I don't have a covered bridge, so I decided to build one. Hopefully, I'll get it done. Uh, I want to finish it tonight, but ran out of time and that's a big mess i've got at the back my shed is a mess i'm what you call a procrastinator i'll clean it up later i'll clean it up later when i need the room that's when i clean it let's see who's in the chat all right aaron here's what i'm doing so far with the stuff you sent There you go. So it's getting there. I gotta send I got I I gotta make a whole bunch of them and send that off to people. I've been saying that for years, but I gotta yeah. sit down and just do it. Yes, I did, Aaron. Need to gold here. <laughs> hey, can I go? I've got the one from the 2017 Rude Boys TTC where I won the shirt and that stuff. I've got the big one to put down in this corner. And then the one of the last loading lures that they did on the Teespring deal. That's uh, it'll worth a lot of money, that loading wars, because you can't use that word anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Yep. Looking good. Okay, let me get that other thing and I'll get it put on there. <laughs> I come so late tonight. Nine. Uh, <laughs> I, I was going to stream from the shed because I was working on the bridge. So I said to myself, oh, when, when time comes, I'll stream from the shed. But I did a test and my Wi-Fi just not strong enough. I only got two bars of Wi-Fi and it just wasn't enough. So I got to fix something else at the back there for the Wi-Fi um, way too far from the house. So uh, it Anyways, I started working on the bridge, was working, was working also, and I, I, I stopped, look at the time, and I go, oh, my God, look at the time. I, I missed I, I missed the uh, RC talk because I just got, like, when you're working, you don't think about it. And then I got the text from Tony, and it's, ah, okay, I might as well go in. So I came in late and started the stream. I figured something. I figured something had happened, or you got busy or whatever. And uh, most of you guys have all seen my um, my uh, trailer, my camping trailer I made. Yeah, it's a camping trailer, trailer, work trailer. Yeah, that thing came out nice. So I, I actually sent a link to Aaron and I told Aaron, uh, hey, Aaron, you need this on uh, loading, uh, not loading stores on YouTube gold for his video, like, because he needs a work track. You need a work office. So let me hey. share the screen to everybody. So everybody can hey, see. Hey, Tony, what's up? Hey, Tony, welcome hey. in. What's up, Tony? What did I miss? I've been trying to get back upstairs. Uh, nothing much. I explained to people that I was building a bridge. Um, so I did put it on blocks. Uh, I'm not going to bother putting wheels on it. And of course, for some odd reason, it's crapping out on me. Come on, you can do it. It was working fine a couple minutes ago. Yeah, I called the Tony factor. Yeah, I think it's because Tony came in. Yeah, that's it. Blame me. <laughs> Try that again. I know that thing actually came out pretty cool. It oh, works yeah. like trailer. There we go. Oh yeah, I saw that. It's awesome. So, I, I'm I'm building my. Um, uh, I gotta fix my trail, and I got a switchback road, which there's uh, wood logs that are actually holding up the dirt. So, kids or animals or whatever, they they really made it fall down. So I want to remake it. 
So I, I invited everybody in the local area in Ottawa with their heavy equipment, like their loaders and all that, and their dump trucks. I, I want them to come over. So I decided to build this. So it's going to be fun. We're going to, we're going to have fun. Hopefully some people are going to show up. So I had fun doing that little deck. Hey, Bucks RC, welcome in. Koga, welcome good. in. Gem City RC, welcome in. Nice. This is two feet, six inches long. It's pretty long. Uh, 10 inch wide by nine and a quarter or nine and three quarters high. Nice. So it's a pretty it's good nice size. It's a good size. You just need to get a flatbed trailer for your Tamiya yeah. truck. Nah. Yeah. And you'll be able well, to I do have a, I do have a flatbed, but it's not long enough. It's the same as Tony's. Yeah, you'll be able to you'll be able to pick it up and off. Um, yeah. Flatbed. Well, that, that, that's what I want people to do. I I want them to uh, actually uh, come with their loaders, and I want to like play with the loaders. Like in other words, okay, let's dump dump the wood here. Uh, put it on the flatbed, bring the wood, dump the wood, to take the loader and take the wood off, uh, fake that we're building those um, uh, pillars to yeah. set the deck on, and then either take a loader or something and just pick up pick up that, that truck and or that uh, shack and put it on to the, the piers. So I, I just want to do a nice little cool video. Different. I see Froggy, did you want to show Arn what you want to get there? No, I just put the other sticker on. I'm going to send him some pictures later on. Oh, you put the Loading King sticker on there? Uh, I put the Loading Wars before it was changed, and I just put the 2017 Root Boys PTC sticker in oh, the other yeah. one. sticker, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I just ended up with some um, somewhat scale buildings myself. Um, the mall where our local drift track and slot car drag strip, it is now closing. Tuesday is the last day for it, so I had to go get that. I got my MKS banner that I got hanging up now. Um, I've got, we had the Duara Tofu shop from Initial D in the Timing Tower that one of our guys made for us, and he said I could hold on to him if I wanted to. Awesome. So, yeah, I just got to find a good place to put them to show them off real good. I'm trying to rearrange everything in here, and it's not working too good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Matt's RC. Right, just don't forget to hit that thumbs up, everyone. Hey, John from Neck Cruiser, what's up? Hey, Blind Neil, how you doing? It's funny that Arn's actually in the chat tonight, because that's what I was actually in the middle of doing. Setting up another, setting up another dual red Bronco. Oh yeah, yeah. I was just programming the, programming the remote. <coughs> yeah, that's true. You 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 do like Aaron does with the, the one remote that controls two cars. Yeah, and that's what I was actually just in the middle of doing, just setting another one up. Cool. Yeah. I just I, I was, I was, I was, tank set up and I said while I was waiting on you, I could not. I know sometimes you go on a tan, so then I just started wrenching and stuff. So I actually started putting the interior together for the, for the Range Rover as well. But this cool. interior is freaking huge, so really. I need the size, the size of them seats, even though. Those are oh, bigger than the nice. semi. Yeah, it's <laughs> crazy, like the size of. So that Range Rover oh. interior is huge. But yeah, but that Range Rover, the motor is up the front, right? Yeah, everything's up the front on it. But then I, I also got this 3D printed whole engine to put in it just too. RC Voodoo printed that. I, I got to paint, cool. paint that up and put that in. Hey, Trail Crater, welcome. Hello, hello. Welcome in, Jake. Tony, the celebrities in the house. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Tony is an equal to everyone here. Yeah. Everyone that exactly. comes is equal. Okay, he's got more subs than I do, but yeah, so Jam City RC said maybe maybe Sparks can send a safety monitor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. 
I felt inspired after the last one and finished this up finally. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I saw yeah. you some posts. Hey, I'll I'll present. They finally it. got. You've been working enough forever. To... Yeah. Well, I I didn't want to take out the motor or the other scale seat, and I had to take out both. Yeah. Because I just I was fighting, and I wanted to find a way to do it where I didn't have to. Um, but I really had to put the ESC in that seat, and then the battery's got a strap. I put a little plate up here instead. Okay. What did you use? Our uh, right? Uh -huh. You you couldn't put the ESC right up the uh, the nose, right on the nose. Uh, I could have potentially put it. If you would have put the another problem plate. is, if you do that, then it hits the um the, yeah, the servo. The servo. Okay. Okay. Uh, servo goes yeah. up up that high, yeah. Yeah, so that's the only issue. Nice. Why does it go? I had to, I was actually looking to do that, but it actually hit. And that okay. you can see it's not a very straight line. I had to cut it back. Okay, okay. After What's I installed it, which was a pain to get it in, so I didn't want to take it out again. What's hmm. that? The triple five you have on there or triple four? Is it? Yes, triple five. Triple five, nice. So that's why I went with the Mamba X system so I could set the uh B E C in it to seven point five. Yeah. Nice. Hey, so. Jack, welcome in, brother. Happiest day of our lives today. 30 year joint ended. That's it. Cases are wondering Liverpool actually won the league today after oh, 30 yeah? years. Hey, Tuga, how are you doing? Hello, Hello Jack. Jack. I haven't heard that name in a while. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he's up right now. That's awesome. <laughs> Theoretically, you should have got an email. If you didn't and you want one, just let me know. I can send you one. I do have one question for you guys. I don't think I have the Vanquish uh, lower links on right. Are they supposed to step down or are they supposed to be flat and going over and in? I've actually seen both. No, I think okay. they're supposed to be flat. I've seen people do it where they went down and it just didn't sit right, but I just have very little flex with this thing. I was shocked at how little. Yeah. Well, when when you're looking at your output shaft and your dry shaft at the back, are they both equal or is the pumpkin uh, of the shaft in the rear pointing up? It's pointing up a little bit. Yeah, so it, it should be perpendicular. Per 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 perpendicular. Perpendicular. Yeah, that's it should it. be straight, flat, right? <laughs> yeah. To yeah. The ground. It should be the same as the, uh, or or else it's gonna go voo 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 voo. It's gonna it's gonna be uh, all, um, it's, it it's gonna bounce. be out of phase. So, so that means either the link has to be longer or you shorten the top ones, one or the other. Just you flip the flip the links though to have the the band go in the opposite direction. I think. Yep. Do which flip the the bottom ones to go down? Yeah. Because, yeah, because your top one right now, your pumpkin's facing up towards the frame, isn't it? Yeah. yeah Just so. a little bit. So if you drop them the other way, it should lower your pumpkin back down level, no? It should straighten your pumpkin out. If you drop the, if you put the rays going down the way. Do you have any uh, small shims? You know those little. Uh, so wait, so these ones I should change are the lower links. Yeah, it should be a little bit longer. Should find a way okay. to make them a little bit longer. Yeah, I could just take them off and thread yeah. them a little bit. Yeah, but if you get the, you can actually get. Oh, there goes my glue. Too many stuff. <laughs> You can get little tiny shims. Yeah. But with them going, but with them going facing down the way, you'll get more travel, or no? Which, uh, right now, it's in flat for the bottom length. You're not getting that much travel, are you? Yeah, that's one way you can try. Right. And I was wondering, too, if I move the shocks up so they sat on the top to push it down. No, it's right your links. Your links is going to dictate where your shaft is. Your shock is just bringing it up and down. Yeah. Right. 
But to lower this, I think I have to go up here because I don't think the shocks are going to sit down any further. They're fully extended. Yeah. Mm. That thing is looking good, though. It yeah. does look great. I was looking for directions on how to do it. I wish, I wish more things had directions. Yeah. Who needs stinking directions? It's getting <laughs> worse and worse. I, can, I hope my I hope the new rig I have coming the instructions are a lot better on it because it's coming in like a million pieces. Which one are you getting, Sean? The boom racing P one ten with a team hey, Tony. body. Tony, oh, wow. these little tiny they look like washers, but they're yeah. not. They're little tiny shims. So you can actually put them between your links. So when you when you make longer, you put that to extend them. And these come in, in different length and different. Yeah. Length. Well, I don't understand why. I mean, these are wraith links for a wraith with wraith. But is it like everything is wraith based, you know, the, okay. the actual. Yeah, but, but is it like the bomber, though? Because the, the bomber actually uses wraith links in the front with spawn links in the back. No, there. Uh, this is a wraith setup. It's oh, got the same wraith plate. Oh, it's, the it's same still wraith. a custom chassis. Okay, it's just. But it's still it does the chassis. I mean, everything above it you just take off and don't worry about. But if yeah. you just look at the plate, yep, and the arms, they should match with the wraith. The wraith. But, I don't know. For the shock mounting, is what I'm talking about. Oh, the shock mount? Yeah, that can make it a little different since it is a custom chassis. Yeah, that's true. I thought this was unsoldered somewhere. <laughs> oh, here. Two guys got an R1. Cool. That's one RC I, I always wanted to get, the R1. It's, it, it looked kind of cool. Those are neat. I got lucky Saturday with my R1 um, motor um, in my street stock. It got quite toasty, but it's still running. It's up to about 210 degrees. 210? 210. That's it a little after, toasty. Yeah, it was after a five-minute race. So... Yeah, I got real lucky that it's still running. It didn't smoke or anything, so. That would have been an, an expensive replacement. Mm -hmm. And I got lucky and just got the thing on a trade, so <laughs> I really couldn't afford it. I'm like, you got lucky. Just a bit. Oh, just a guitarist is in the chat. Cool. How you doing, Jack? How's it going, Jack? Or just Jack? Cody is saying, uh, Tony, what top links? I guess it's the Vanquish links that you're using? Yeah, it's a full set for a wraith that comes with the front steering links, okay. upper, lower. So, don't know. You'd have to measure them and make sure they're the right length um, off the manual. But you're using which axles? Boom racing. Yeah, they're See, just I'm like the sure. AR60. Yeah, I'm not sure if they have the same geometry as the AR60. In other words, exactly where to actually bolt them on. If it's exactly the same, I'm not sure. That's a good question. Pretty close. Torque twist. Who's getting torque twist? Sean, your mic is not working for some odd reason. Oh, is that better? Yeah, that's way better. All right, I was do I was heat gunning, so I turned the mic off. But I was okay. heat gunning, so. But, um, yeah, I was wondering if it's like the bomber though, because the race links work in the front of the bomber, 
but the back of the bomber is slightly longer and you need this uh, the spawn length yeah spawn. but the problem is he's using wraith axle with <coughs> wraith plate so the 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 bottom chassis plate where the motor mount is a wraith so yeah and i had the wraith um uh but lowers as well and so yeah. i know that i did i had two of the same exact same length lowers front and rear because uh, they were the um, atomic rc ones and i just took them out to put in these ones um so in my opinion it's just typical vanquish <laughs> i could put the other one back on and see if i get some of that back the movement so I don't remember the flex before. So I also changed the shocks to king shocks. I did a lot last night. Oh yeah. All right. It's done. Oh well. This girl is old. Yeah, some guys on uh, Facebook are saying. Yeah, your camber looks nice, but you need a doorknob. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on it. It's on, on on work progress. It's still working on it. Maybe I should just put a padlock because some of those offices don't even have a doorknob. The only thing they have is a padlock. There you go. That'd be cool. Yeah. This is an OG right here. Original gangster. Oh, your dual motor one. And it's got that old... Uh... You could get them at Harley Designs way back in the day on his website. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That um, battery and electronics tray. Ooh. Yeah, I still got my original SCX 10. I'm trying to find out what I'm going to take to um, Axial Fest. That's what I'm trying to figure out what I want to run. Oh, you go on, Tony, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to Badlands. Yeah. Nice. Nice. You want to rent some of the vehicles when you're there? Well, I'm I'm hoping to take my Jeep up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that'd be nice. They do some one-to-one -one -one when you're there. What sucks is we're going to be in Michigan the week before. Hmm. And then I got to drive all the way back home and then back. So I'm trying to find out if I could go get a towing thing put on the rv and then tow the jeep and then we just stay up there yeah, yeah, yeah and then camp and have a blast where in michigan are you gonna be towing? um fenton and uh gross point okay yeah because by that badlands place where they do the one-to-ones even where they have them um, what they rent them what do you call them the flowers or whatever the UTVs or whatever. Yeah, yeah they rent down. Those are sweet. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. Well, this is an option now. I think I'm on late. <laughs> the only thing with this is the steering sucked on the one. Yes. That's why I upgraded to the uh, SSD Pro steering mod. Okay. Which is way better. Did a GCM have something that you could do with it? No. It is uh, SSD. SSD. Mind you, the Canadian, well. dollar, Canadian dollar really hit the rock bottom for a while. So things are very expensive right now in Canada. Yeah, but that's good. But for yeah. you. That's good for Americans, though. No? Yes. Yes. So, for American businesses. And that, yeah. Sean, just looking out for number one. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, it's like when I go back to Ireland, that kills me. But I have to get, I have to get British sterling, because I'm from the north of Ireland. But then I have to get euros as well to go to the south of Ireland, and it kills me. I went home a few years ago. I handed the woman like a thousand dollars, and she handed me back four hundred sterling. I was like, you realize that was a thousand dollars I gave you? She was like, yep. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. I ordered up one of these grills for my Jeep. Oh, the angry The eyes? real one, yeah. They call it angry bird. It's not like the full-on angry eyes, 
that one that this is is actually just a like a shade that goes over it if you wanted to get this look because wow. it still has the seven grills. Most of them now are just a little over the top for me. Okay. They're too like Darth Vader looking. Yeah. All right, what's the next project? So what, are you taking a few of the, are you taking a few of the SMP 10s back so fast, yeah? Um, I wasn't planning to, but that's not a bad idea. It all depends if I go by myself in the Jeep. <laughs> if I go with my family in the Jeep, okay. if I tow it and the take the RV. I would, tow, I, would I, tow, I would tow it in the RV. That way you can just fill the Jeep fill with as many RCs as you want. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, it actually, it's surprising that I can get more in my uh, minivan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's tough to pack it into the RV. So you kept the minivan too? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, actually, that thing's that thing's awesome. As much as I like the dog on it, yeah. it's just way more comfortable. <laughs> hey Richie, what's up? Hey, man, guys, sorry, I think I've got the sound up on yet. Sorry. Yeah. Did you come in to congratulate? Hey, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Is that what you came for, Richie, to say congratulations? Oh yeah, I, I was watching it minute by minute on the because like you couldn't get the Radio Five live, the commentary or anything on there, and I was just like watching. Come on, come on, come on! One more minute, one more minute! Come on! <laughs> like awesome results, Sean. I just cannot believe it has taken so long because like when I was like growing up, it was like Liverpool were just like the dominant ones, and then it just hit the Premier League, and it yeah. just like nosedived. <laughs> But Richie boy has been busy today. What the there. heck are you doing on that beast? Well, I can show you. As that taking me about twenty minutes to carry it in from the garage. <laughs> wow, you garage far. Right, it's a uh, Beast Pro three hundred amp ESC uh, Poseidon sixteen hundred kV motor running on. Um, I'm slightly nervous. Oh, but it doesn't go that quick. Oh my gosh, I just thought going to tear your arm apart. Wow. wow. That is running on 12 S now. Wow. Look at the balloon of them tires, man. That oh yeah. Really. <laughs> tires are twice, almost three times the size. Yeah, that's insane. That's like what Exo Cage did with his. Uh, Creighton, right? Yeah. Something like that. I think it's going to be a destroyer, man. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Bucks RC World, he's going back to the festival. Bucks RC World's going to be there? Yeah, he said, I'm taking the mega truck, then his SMP 10 on the bomber. On the oh, the mega truck's a great idea, actually. I'm sure there'll be mud, right? Yeah. yeah hey, ARC84 Films, how are you doing? On the actual fest things, how are they like, well, I, I assume obviously fairly social distancing is fairly easy to uh, accommodate at those things. <laughs> no. On a trail, right? Yeah. Not but you know, you you you. I watch videos of it, and you, people are right on top of each other trying to get around marks and stuff, like leaning right over the top with the controllers and stuff. So. Oh yeah. yeah, I'm actually hosting an event. It was supposed to be Saturday, but it's going to be raining, so I moved it to Sunday. So people are coming over here to uh, crawl for the first time this year. So it should be a fun event. At your house, thing? Yeah. yeah, at my house. Yeah. Well, I got two trails, A and B. Well, north and south. And uh, when people come here, it's it's about a you you can spend a good three hours here easily going through the trails. So they're pretty long. It takes a while to rake. Let me, let me tell yeah. you that. Yeah, now I missed my house terribly in New Jersey, like particularly with all this social distancing thing coming on because I had like a, a paddock where you could run like 8SX Max, that oh, thing yeah? behind me, you could run flat out on there. I'd, I cut a trawling trail out down on a stream, rocks, boulders, everything, just no need to go out anywhere at all. And uh, 
now I live in California and I don't have seven acres, I have half an acre and pay double the rent. <laughs> Triple the rent, probably. Uh, yeah, so I miss that terribly right now. And uh, yeah, particularly when it snows, actually, I miss the snow. That's so how's, every, how's, everybody do, how's everybody doing now? Is everyone holding up? Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Is everything new? Yeah, no, not bad. It's uh, just like going. Well, it's, we're supposed to be going into like phase two opening, and so, like, it's bizarre. Like, some of the shops are open up. Like, some of the shopping malls are open up. And you can go around there, and you can eat out around there. Mm -hmm. But things like the San Francisco Zoo isn't open. Monterey Aquarium, like, isn't open. You know, the the, the kind of the big semi-outdoor attractions aren't open, yet shops are, which is just bizarre. But, yeah. We're about to get everything shut down again here. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. It sucks. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I mean, I'm in certain places, it's just the minute they've opened up, it's just cases are just like skyrocketing again. So and some of them open up. Phoenix some open up way too soon. Yeah. Some yeah. people are not being careful enough. Like here in Montreal, that was the worst place that they had in Montreal, and people are still not wearing masks. Like people are walking outside. Okay, I can yeah. go outside now. No, wear a mask. Yeah, well, I I had a contact from Bangor in China, and in January, she said, "Buy a mask, Rich. Or whatever you do, buy a mask for you and your family. Absolutely ignore all government advice." Whatever you do, buy a bleeping mask, yeah. right? Yeah. And she said that in January. What the heck? Is right? that? And she she said just ignore ignore the government advice. Buy a mask. Whatever you do, just get a mask. End of story. And what then? Five six months later, we've been told you must wear a mask. Yeah. And there've been well, I've been out like I went to the I took my car out for the car wash for about the first time in about three months the other day, and um, you know somebody like walks past like within six inches of me not wearing a mask and like and other people are shouting that and, like and they well, like you know why aren't you wearing a mask oh i don't need to wear a mask i'm outside yeah it's hmm. part of the problem not the solution mm -hmm. i have a hard time breathing with them i have a hard enough time breathing without it so yeah what's yeah. that little problem when you're playing with tony what's that little problem when you're playing with? Yeah. oh it's a um Kyosho Mini Z, the monster truck. Oh, nice. The anniversary edition one. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool. However, it's missing the plates for the uh, holding the body on. Somewhere huh. around here, somebody you... okay, destroyed usually it. Stretch and it just clips on each side, but that one, I'm not sure how it holds. <laughs> yeah, it has these little um, plastic inserts. Yep. There's one, there's not one. Oh, and then those go inside of the side of the yeah. chassis. But yeah, this is old school. If in doubt, blame it on the kids. Uh, <laughs> or the cat is actually probably a better culprit <laughs> for it. It was sitting on a shelf over here, and I'm sure it got knocked off several times. And I probably picked up the little piece and just thought it was like packaging mm. or something that was disposable. It's quite funny you're saying the cat, Tony, because I in my spare time I actually build the, the big Legos, like the, the like the Porsches, the expert builder ones and stuff like that. And my yeah. cat just my cat comes and lies on the table next to me. And after sits there for four or five minutes and then just suddenly goes boom. <laughs> then, then just carries on there sitting there looking like nothing's gone wrong. I'm like, oh great, you know. <laughs> yeah, they're funny like that. Mm. Especially, yeah, we had one. I had to, he knocked over the cat or the fish food all the time, and then he'd get the lid off it somehow and make a huge mess. Yeah. <laughs> Everything in the boxes with this little guy. All right, so those are my soldering jobs, I think. So that's good. I was thinking of getting one of the, uh, I love the, um, the McLaren P1 uh, Mini Z. That yeah. looks really nice. Those are nice. Yeah. Yeah. Get the sets. Yeah. Well, they they have lots of nice bodies for the for the mini Z's, that's for sure. 
I had one back in the UK years ago, and I, I probably spent like double the amount of the, the car actually cost on it. I've got all the hop up parts, suspension, the tires, the motor, the whole nine yards, and we were moving house. And um, somebody obviously just lifted the bag off of the removal van. Just when we got to the other end, there was no car there, gone completely. Oh, yeah. Right? So, yeah, just these things happen, but yeah. But now it's the ideal car to my mind. I mean, you could, they'll uh, do like get them, and, uh, geared up, or in, get them geared up and indoors they'll be doing like 20 miles an hour, which is m way faster than most people like living room space. Yeah. Yeah, Bucks, the minis, these are a little steep for the size they are, but they are so cool. Yeah, but it's because of the hard body and the licensing. Yeah, Bucks, yeah. LC World's just commented on that, and they're priced if it wasn't so steep, I'd get the McLaren. Yeah. All right, 200 bucks, right? Right uh, around there. Yeah, yeah, like 179 to 199 for May Main, depending on if you want them rear wheel drive only which are the, like, the sportier, the faster ones, yeah. or um, the drifters uh, tend to four be wheel drive on, drifters, yeah. four wheel drive ones on there. But all of them will drift with the right tires on there. It's so tunable, it's ridiculous. For some well, yeah, especially with two wheel drive, right? You can get those things drifting yeah. <laughs> all day long. Yeah, yeah, but on a smooth on a smooth wooden floor, Tony, just tire choice, you get it, you know, four wheel drifts all day long. Yep. Yeah, we we have a drift course for him here. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, and my challenge so far this week, guys, the steepest so far roadside RC with seventy three degrees. Ooh. on the crawler and Trax RC got sixty seven degrees. Very impressive the amount of effort they put in. I, I still can't wow. get how that roadside thing got up to 73 degrees. What are they using? Probably super glue on the tires, Tony. Um, <laughs> I had to put a thing out on there saying no tire added, but it, it looks fairly genuine. So They're probably I mean, using I, invisible cables to hold it down. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Tank. I wondered if somebody put like fishing line and a weight down the back of the board. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. Um, Windshield. Seventy three is a lot for what? What kind of crawler was he using? The six uh, by six? No, it's um what they call uh, class three. I'm not sure on all the. I don't get into the technical stuff on the crawlers. I so. know me either. I got to learn. A yeah. class three is just an open. Can be anything. But. Yeah. Uh, and then I've got 57 degrees because I did one class for below uh, two hundred dollars. An RC crawler below two hundred dollars are yeah fifty seven fifty seven yeah, and the poor guy on it does the fifty seven degrees, then um, it stops at the top and uh, comes back down and it rear ends itself, and the suspension falls in on itself, and the oh, guy comment yeah. and the guy comments, then that's why it's two hundred dollar crawler. <laughs> <laughs> but what were what did roadside RC use to get seventy? What what crawler were they using? You'd need to watch it, Sean. I'm not not quite sure. Well, I'm trying to find it right now. Yeah. Uh, who did you say it was? Roadside RC. Roadside, um, okay. I've got I've got the link in. Oh, let me open the he link. Was probably using like the gum. I think he has one of them that he made gums or something or the gum. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? You can put it in the chat here in the in this. Yeah, it's quite impressive. They just do it up a, t uh, uh, up a tail, and that's one of the things that Shen RC said to me to use on the incline test, so I've done that on mine. And, uh, yeah, just normal cotton tail, so. Yeah, it's fairly impressive, though. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You come up with that challenge after I remove the 60 degree or 
sixty percent overdrive out of my freaking KF two. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I surprised some of you boys hadn't entered it actually because you guys have got pretty good crawlers on there. I actually trust I didn't see it, Richie. So maybe I'll have a look at it. Yeah. And see. I saw it. I didn't get to the it. The only though. thing being, when you see it, when you see it crawling up there, it looks almost unnatural because it's just yeah. like so steep. That I think he, he, I think he did use the goom or something because I know he has one of them gooms or something. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Hank's gonna show us here. Yeah, but it is. It's, it's, it felt impressive for sure. Yeah. I saw it on Facebook. I have to watch the video for the rules. I want to try and get into it. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to get well, all my crawlers it's working until, right it's now. Until, it's until something till midnight um, Friday, Tony. So uh, Friday. Pacific Standard Time. So, so yeah. he's got a tower. Okay. So you're allowed to use you're allowed to use a towel and stuff to give grip. Not yeah, you can put board. anything you want on the board, uh, but I put within reason. So what I didn't want is somebody like um, the aforementioned people on screen putting <laughs> putting treacle on the board or something like that for more grip. Yeah. Okay, he's got a wreath right now. You know, so I, I wanted something like reasonable on that. And I said, stock tires, you're not allowed to go and, you know, do stupid stuff like coat yeah, the tires in put, or something like that. Um, but you can put down like sandpaper on the board? Yeah, yeah, you can put whatever you want on the board. Well, like I said, Tony, within I don't have that much sandpaper, but yeah, <laughs> yeah what, I did, what I didn't want, Tony, is people is people doing daft stuff like putting shoe glue on the tires or shoe glue on the board. Well, you just I was gonna say yeah. three M adhesive that thing, hit it with some yeah. tax spray. Yeah, but yeah, but you can just spray spray the tires with WD forty. So yeah, if you do it hard. early enough. Yeah, and that so the towel will really help you stick though. Yeah, the towel mm -hmm. is gonna like wrap around the tires and actually help you go up. Yeah. Hey Richie, does it have to be a ten scale? No, no, and and you can do whatever size you want. Doesn't matter. Ah. I, I actually still think uh, like a um, my has got one of them, the STX twenty four, something like yeah. that. Yeah, that's what I've got. That's my, my mind, STX twenty four with the weight in the right place, power in the there. I think something small could win it. Personally, I was just thinking the same thing, Richie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm with yeah. you, dude. Because the, the power to weight ratio you could potentially get with the SCX24, you, you could shift the weight in the right place, oh. not, not be over, you know, I, I think that could win it personally. Yeah. This little thing right here. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, I've got the, um, I got the hot racing front shock mounts and the ESC tray. I got the brass weights on the knuckles and on the rear diff. So. Uh, brass, at, brass at the front will help for sure. Definitely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I, I think uh, tracks up, tracks I'll um they at like 67. And as they said, with brass at the front, I think we could have gone higher. I think with brass at the front, they probably would have exceeded roadside RCs personally, because the amount of mods they did, they shifted like, um, oh, they took the body off, the the bumpers, everything wow. that would have put any weight on the top of the TRX4, they stripped it down to nominal stuff. I mean, it's been absolutely phenomenal what they did with the car. Uh, it really I is. Find a yeah. Board yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, now I just got to find a board to use. Yeah. Well, somebody said to me, they said, oh, well, you know, I've not got a board. Can I use a slope? But the thing about it, the board gives a consistent angle. That's yeah. Was, yeah. was the idea on, on there. And, you know, you're going up a slope. OK, yeah, it might be 50 degrees at this point, but it might be 30 down here. So the board was the, the kind of natural level of there to so put out. How, how high can you go up? How high do you have to go up the board? Just take your car into Home Depot and do it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my son, my son was like freaking out the other day in the Home Depot. I went, I went to the freaking Home Depot. I got some wood and I wanted them to cut it. So their answer was, is like, oh, we don't have any saws to cut it right now. They're all down. I said, you have a tool section. What do you mean you no saws? I said, oh, we no saw. I just went straight into the tool section, took a hand saw and cut the wood right in the middle of the tool section. My son was taking off running. Daddy, people are looking at you. 
Yeah, I'm in my car, so I'm high. <laughs> anyway, four you're hours. You're embarrassing later. me, Daddy. You're yeah. embarrassing yeah. me. I was gonna yeah, say he was. He was like he took off running. Like four hours later, when they released Sean from custody. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some cardboard I can use. They'll be long enough. I've got like... Yeah, three, cardboard. Is, and and it, it's just, as you no. say, just something level, you know, on... Uh, but there's no height thing. restriction, no? Now, oh, what I've said is, what I've said is, minimum of four foot for the board, and you've got to climb up at least three foot. Well, what about for that something this size? Same rules apply. So... Uh, I still gotta find something long but enough. I think that I think that would do well. Personally, I think yeah, yeah that would do well. Foot, maybe two and a half, three foot at the most. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, you have a door on the wall there behind you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Did anybody see the uh, the three by seven outdoor when I did the one with the, um, you had to jump over something and they took the TV down off the wall. No. Anybody see that? No. And they, and they, and they, and they, one and he goes and the, and the kid goes, oh, got nothing to jump over, Dad. And he goes, oh, well your mum's out. We'll just take the TV off the wall. And they rip the TV, flat screen TV of this brilliant production. Um, you, anybody, you should just watch it. And they, they pull the TV off the wall. Obviously they've got a spare TV. And uh, that and. Um, then at the end of the video, they're jumping it and they've smashed a the big Jesus obviously out of the TV. And then at the end of the video, the, the, the mum's voice goes, Hi, I'm home, guys. Anybody seen the TV? Yeah. <laughs> but I'll, I'll tell you, we could look, you, you watch their videos because they are so well projected. I'm guessing one of them's into maybe the mum or something like that, it? or the dad's into video production because they're really, really well produced. Who is it? Three by seven outdoor. But literally, the the one the, the challenge entries, Tony, are just like second to none. The, the effort they put into them. And they're both like lying on the sofa to start with. And then it goes, then the phone beeps. And he goes, oh, Dad, challenge come through from Richie from Drifter Maniacs, like appearing on his phone. Oh, what's that about then? And they're doing it, and it's like filmed in real time. It just mm. world class, it really is. Nice. Yeah, two guys wondering the same thing. Wondering right. if Aaron from RC Sparks is still here. Yeah. Not sure. Um, Kurtz RC went 57 degree. Well, that's what he says in his description. Yeah. 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 Starts off at 57. Yeah. I know yeah, my TF2 he, did... he's, he's leading the sub $200 category at the minute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did a 58 degree with my normal, team. Like... My TF2 did 58 degree here at my house. Yeah. That's yeah. Amazing. But it, it's, there's, two there's two categories this week, Tank. One is for the steepest for a rock crawler costing less than $200. And the other one is for anything above that, obviously. Okay. Yeah. That's under 200, timing. so that works. <laughs> All right, guys. Timing 20 or 10. What vehicle? Turn three. What do you see? Lots. Um, it's dynamite, probably a uh, 60 amp. What vehicle? Yes. What are you putting it in that rock? It's the stock bomber one. Oh. Okay, uh, if you can't zero. zero, so what are you putting it in? Are you putting it in that rock bouncer? The, no, the bomber. Oh, you're putting it in the bomber. Remember, I did it already with this one, yeah, and it sucked. You can try ten a little bit, but uh, you're gonna put uh, pressure or stress onto the ESC because it's gonna pull more amps out of it if you turn it up too high. Try it. Worst that's gonna happen is you're gonna burn your ESC. But it goes to eleven. I'm going to eleven. I like <laughs> your suggestion. If people in there probably don't understand. But this one, but yeah, this yeah, one, yeah, I was gonna, make I, ten I, louder. I, <laughs> but but this one goes to eleven. Yeah. Sean, I I I I referred that exact video in the uh, um I, I've been shooting this earlier, and I I, I made the comment of oh you're not going to turn this up to ten, you're going to turn this up to eleven. 
Uh, here's yeah. something for you guys. That It'll mall. A lot of people. Yeah. The mall that we have closing here. You've seen Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, correct? Yeah. Yeah. The San Dimas Mall. That wasn't San Dimas Mall. That was Metro Center Mall. That yeah, is in Arizona. Yeah. Yep, right. that's the one closing. Oh, cool. What, so, what did everybody get for Father's Day? I got a Gundam model. I got a Soda Stream machine. Oh, nice. I got the um, the Lego Technic Top Gear Rally Car, which you can control through your app. So cool. you can, it's like one of those portable ones, so you can drive it through the app. That's cool. cool. But it's tricky, isn't it? Because like people can't get out there and shop, and yeah, yeah. I got a bunch of disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> My birthday's the week before, so I have a big disappointment. Now I ordered up some of the that Angry Eye Grill and um, some cool Halo uh, headlights for the Jeep. Turns out the store I ordered from that ships from California, LED LED Market Store or something. Okay. Um, sometimes I guess they ship from California, but most of the time they use that as a front. And they, they do a fake shipment from California. They cancel it and then they ship it from China. Yeah, um, I'm gonna. I was gonna say, Tony. I, I ordered. I've got like um. I sell some like um. Oh, ECA, uh, yeah. I sell ESC and motor extension leads on eBay, and I've got a little label printer. Um, and I bought that, and it was supposedly from like somewhere in California, but. Yep. You could tell because of the time difference, all of the emails in I, I I couldn't get the drivers working for it. And they're all coming for obviously coming from China. And that, yeah. so they've obviously got somewhere over here that ships the stuff, but you place in the order with obviously somebody in China. Yeah, and I mean they've got warehouses in in California, but what happens yeah. is if they don't have it there, yeah, then you gotta wait. Yeah, yeah. So no, I guess, it's, I guess it's the same thing. I mean, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, so I've been dealing with PayPal on them. And so I got another email saying it shipped. I doubt it shipped. Or they just shipped the wrong thing just to ship something. Yeah. And then they won't respond once I get it. And they'll they'll be able to show that they shipped something to, to PayPal. I've, I've since read a bunch of uh, bad reviews. But it comes up with all the other, like, Quadratech and all them. It just happened to be the style of the Halo light that I liked and the style of the, the Angry Grill. Because, like I said, most of them are too over the top for me. And uh, so I ordered from them. N you know, normal prices seems totally legit. Uh, you know, you, so I, the first thing I did is went to see where they were based out of. And it's California. So I'm like, sweet. But, yeah, yeah fine print. Oh, we're actually international. So if we don't have some, yeah, it's like you get your items within 10 days. And then it's like, oh, if it's not in stock, sometimes we have to pull stock from our warehouses, from our other international offices, because we're, you know, a global, large global company or whatever. Some BS, but whatever. I got halo lights for my old Chevy truck from Summit. Yeah. That might be an option for you to check out if they don't come through for you. They were actually good price too, real nice pieces. Well, that's the thing that kills me, though, is there's stuff on, on Amazon you could get in three days if they just give me my money back. Yeah. yeah. It took me four days to get the ones from Summit because they had them in the Vegas warehouse. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I've got, like, Amazon Prime, and you're lucky to be getting stuff. And a lot of the stuff, instead of two days, it's like a, like, particularly if you want to say, like, a, a servo or an ESC, that's, like, 10 to 14 days at the minute. Even yeah, most RC stuff doesn't play in that prime realm. Yeah, uh, I end up going to eBay because, like RC I, Express for them, I've used that. I used eBay loads recently, Tony. Exactly the same thing on the and uh, and some of the people like uh, even like Traxxas or Horizon Alpha are, are selling on eBay, and you can yeah. get it, you bizarrely you order it there and it's faster than Amazon. But yeah, yep. that's what I've even, been doing, even though it's the same supplier. Yeah. 
Well, it's RC. There's a couple like RC Liquid or Liquid RC, RC Express. I love that. For yeah. me, if they're if they're on the East Coast, I can get it within a, two days. So yeah, and I mean, it's a lot of the stuff for me, like East Coast to West Coast stuff. Um, that's like taking like four days that I push. Um, Power Hobby, they're like God knows what. I mean, there's like is normal first class post, but theirs is like here in two three days. It's just crazy. Well, car hobbies, I can get it within like 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah. put it in my right cart. The there, Sean. Yeah. Cheater. Yeah. Put it in my cart, and then I just drive down. It's sitting on the counter when I get there. Yeah. Yeah. The same as night. I'm kind of bummed that these brake lights never worked on this bomber. Oh, no. Yeah, they never worked. Hey, Trail Quitter, are you coming Sunday to my event? I would. It's my dad's birthday, though. So. Wow, your dad. The yeah. Time. Who would you? Who would you rather spend time? Under? What did he ever do for you? <laughs> go, no, go spend I time. Buy my own RC. That's all good. I saw it though. A long drive. Well, I don't mind the drive. Cam, uh, cram. Fra fam, cram fam put um, a um, uh, yeah. uh, for your challenge. He actually put a uh, uh, price is right uh, guy there that actually climbs. For his <laughs> <thumbnail>. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've got I, I, what I try and do is put because I share the videos, I try and put one up every few hours. So I, I because when people post a link. That drops it into the, my YouTube spam box. So I then go in there and pull it out. But so that I'm not doing like, if I've got three or four in there in a row, I try and space them out over a few hours, which I will go and look at the Cram Fams one. And just so you're not, so you're out. saying we're not all in your best friends category on your, your email? We get thrown into spam? <laughs> no, no, no. Here, Richie? Get dragged in there anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But like RC, are... Bucks RC World is arguing about the price of it. He said, dude, why not buy a center at that point as opposed to McLaren P1? <laughs> I, I was just to write to back about, about just about to write back and say 129,000 for a McLaren 520S, maybe at a push. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, I was looking at McLaren's and then McLaren have done a um, this morning they've announced their secured emergency funding because they're in trouble funding wise so oh, yeah, i saw that but on the on the plus side that might push down the price of the used ones but... depending on the model it could well a 520s which i've driven is like just stupid fast they're about 120 129 one with reasonable mileage on there But um, yeah. when you send that, my car's been in for a service for the past two days and it's not not being finished till tomorrow. So God knows what the build's going to be on that. Yeah. I've got to still go out and fix the taillights on my station wagon. It went out <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. I got no voltage going to the socket for the taillights. So I've got a wire that's gone bad. I can actually smell our famous magic smoke coming from one of the wire areas. I'd actually yeah. like to, one of the best things that I'd love to get is actually like a Chevy, like a 60s Chevy C10 pickup and do the whole nine yards, get it slammed down with the airbags on there, Chevy LS engine swap in there, that kind of thing. That would that would be what I'd really like to do. But, There's a number of those for sale around here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, keep my eyes open on it. It's... It, tricky because all the good stuff is like thousands of miles away and then have to like buy one i'm just in arizona through pictures if you know what i mean and it's like i'm sure it would be all right but it's still a bit of a risk isn't it you know you buy one and you find it needs like 10 grand spending on it. it's not exactly going to be heartwarming yeah like i said i'm in arizona so i'm not that far from you oh okay your it's challenge I could go look at it. Yeah. All right. I used, to, yeah. I used to do that sort of stuff. I've worked with um, hot rod clubs. I've worked yeah. for specialty shops. I've been a 
um, parts counterman for GM. So I've been around this stuff all my life. Oh, appreciate that. Yeah, because it's d- 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 that's the other thing I've been looking at. Like, is ones in that like the surrounding area, something like Arizona, because I could drive there or fly there and drive the thing home without you know too much of a trouble. Yeah. Well, I'm drive, can you find something? <laughs> Well, yeah, now, now's, now's, it's a buyer's market for now. Buyer's market now for sure. Yeah. Yeah. See you later, Tuga. 5 a.m. where you are. Wow. Yeah, so good. Have a good Tuga. night. <laughs> it's only 9 12. Come on. No. <laughs> um, That's what I was going to say. For, for you and me, for you and me, it's like quite early when tank says, Oh, I'm cutting off now because it's late. And I'm thinking, it's only just gone nine. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, Richie, for your climbing, when it when does it end? Sunday? Friday. It ends Friday? Okay. Yeah, 12 minutes tomorrow. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. Yeah. <clears throat> so I got 12 a.m. or 12 12? Like yeah, midnight? 12, min- 12 midnight. Yeah. So tomorrow, 12 midnight, your time. So we have till 3 a.m. tank. Yeah. Tomorrow yeah, night. So Pacific, Pacific Standard Time. Yeah. Yeah. And no, because uh, I was going to have 10, 10 to 15 people here this weekend. So I was going to try to see who was going to go the higher. I might still do it, but it won't count for yours, but I might still do it. Oh, you, could, you, could st- you could still do it. Who, who would have won? Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Find out what the record was and yeah. see if they can beat it. Yeah. There you go. Set the bar. Yeah. No. But using no, I really got to find something to try to sense. calm that thing up. Using a towel makes a lot of sense because it's um, it's actually gonna <laughs> go when your wheel turns. It actually makes like a um, it, like a pouch, Look, so it oh, actually oh, helps yeah. you. It's like it's like yeah. um, like drag racing tires when they collapse in on themselves. Yeah. Isn't it? If you know what it, you get, a, you know what I mean by that ripple yeah. with the, the you know, ripple effect. Wrinkle wall. Yeah, yeah, Ring, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. can take my crawling tires. Uh, yeah out of storage and put that on my rig yeah it's got a lot of weights <laughs> a lot of weights <laughs> on those tires uh, my scx okay. okay. only okay. got the brass weights on the uh knuckles and then on the back end just to keep it balanced oh, yeah. yeah i was gonna i was gonna say i'm surprised nobody's done anything as yet with well i'm not sure if that car of roadside rc's had brass on there but brass just i mean my TRX4, I put brass weights on there and it was climbing a good 10 to 15 degrees steeper slope than it was without them. So, that's a cheating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I still think something super lightweight like SX24, Tony, could win it, personally. Uh, yeah. 75 Game Dog. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, 75 Game Dog, what's up? Peace and love. Peace and love, man. Peace and love from 75 Game Dog. <laughs> uh, he got the he got the new RC four wheel drive, the Defender. He got the red and black one. Oh, did he? Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. Has anybody got one of the the new SCX 10s with the dig on that ready to run one? Okay. Everybody and their got mother. Crater got one. <laughs> Sean RC did get one, but I don't know. Did you finish putting Not it? Not ready to run though. Hey, I didn't get one. Uh... Oh no, I thought you got one. No, nah, no way. <laughs> I had too many. No that. way. Well, I had too many of them portal axles. I mean, that's what, the new one I have. I just got it. Oh, Hopefully it gets delivered tomorrow, but it's coming in like a million pieces. So they have a new D110 coming, the Team Reefy. Where yeah. The Team Reefy. What do you think of the D90 team. that they have? Uh, the the where they cut the back off the yeah. truck one. When you, when you say it's coming in a million pieces, are you certain it's FedEx that are delivering it? Yeah. <laughs> it's the same. It's like this one, Richie. This one came in like a million pieces. And I had to build that, so I'm just. Yeah. Oh, play, Richie. 
So I just finished painting it. So this is going to be another nice camo truck. Yeah, sometimes people don't realize how many hours you put on a body. Yeah, like say, oh. but that one has everything open. Very rich. That's not well, that's yeah, nice. That. Yeah. All my doors open. Uh, Should have did uh, suicide doors. <laughs> doors although, although I am getting flashbacks to that film, The Essex Boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else, everybody else, Sean is gonna be going. Essex boys, what the? Yeah, that's <laughs> oh, right. So that's, that's it. Like everything goes, man. I have even. Uh, so this is the interior for it. It's just. Oh, no, that's that's way. That's very nice. Yeah, yeah and, the and then you actually go forward and back. It's kind of cool. All right. Yeah. So then I have to paint up the engine block. So this engine block will end up going in here too. So when it's all in, there'll be a complete engine block oh. and everything. Oh, nice. Hard to see it there, like that. Cool. Yeah. You can you can now get the you can get the the super scale V8 engines. Kind oh, of this, this one here, of Richie. Your, of your motor. Yeah. See that one? That one's like folly. Even says Rover on it and everything. Oh right. So you're gonna paint that up? Yeah, this will all yeah. be painted up and done. Yeah. So. You need nice. a carburetor on there. Yeah. Well, there, it, it is all here. Like, so you have the okay. other manifold snivering for wow. it. Too. That's very neat. Even has the little solenoids and everything, too. So you had to build, build all the solenoids cool. on. And... Box RC World says it looks sweet. Oh, thank you. A lot of a lot of time it goes into the bloody bodies when they come like that. You know? Oh, Tony's getting the bomber ready. I got it all. We got the motor in. Another one done. I'm gonna have to look at that one's axles compared to the uh, other one. Oh, there's definitely more flex. Oh, sorry. Speaking of McLaren, does anybody know if anyone out there does a uh, McLaren 110 scale body for a saloon car? Because no, I've been looking for one. I've not, I've not found right. anything licensed or otherwise. But... Nope. No, I definitely haven't seen one anyway. Yeah. No. I know Delta has other stuff, but they don't have McLaren. So. Yeah, it'll either jump out to people or it it, it, it kind of won't. I'm, I'm thinking there's not one out there, but I've been like searching. Probably one. because of licensing would be my thought. They may not want to let the licensing go for something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Aren't you when you look along uh, when you look around online stuff like there's like Bugatti bodies, Ferrari bodies, and things like, and some say officially licensed and some. Don't say fifty license. So they change just a few little things to do it. I'm the Delta Plastics USA rep. He yeah. literally about eight miles from me. Uh -huh. I talked about stuff like that. Um, they'll change certain things on the bodies so it is not an exact replica. Uh, so they don't have to do the licensing bit. Uh, I did, I did one enough to yeah. get the idea. Yeah. Because uh, I'd like lots of the McLaren one, and you there's somebody that's like a toy version on Amazon, and I know roughly how to make the table up to do the vacuum forming, everything like that. And you, basically, what they do is they like take uh, for the producing the car bodies. Basically, they um, they fill it full of plaster of Paris. If is that the same term over here? That yeah. stuff that you're making cast your arms and things like yeah. that. They fill the they fill it full of plaster of Paris and that and then they peel it off and then they get the sheet of hot lex and put that over the top with a vacuum table and that sucks it down. So I thought, well, that's a little bit of work, but not too not too, not too beyond the realms of possibility. You know, so I did, I've seen a couple of bullet 110 toy cars from McLaren, but then I was thinking, well, if I was to do one, then I should maybe think about making a hundred. Oh, no. But it was the licensing issue that I then think, well, I don't want to, you know, stick something up to make a few bucks and then find I'm being sued for God knows what for copying the body. Yeah, that is a major issue. Um, 
because Delta had an issue with their um, thunder truck body, the Chevy. They didn't have a license for it, so they had to stop showing as a Chevy. They had to take the um, badges off in the pictures and all. So, yeah. They got a season to see. Yeah, yeah, you see people blatantly advertise, like, you know, Porsche 911 body and stuff, and then you might see another advert, and it says, licensed yeah. Porsche 911 body. Um, so... Yeah, I figured that to be some issue kind of around it because I mean, a huge profit margin on those bodies, just absolutely oh. mammoth. Yeah. All right. Time to start rewiring the lights. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you the semi truck again? Yeah, I got the other tank in finally, got it all painted up. It looks real good. Fenders are on, got the slide plate painted up, motor painted up. Wow, it does look sharp. So, yep, frame in silver really helps it pop. Cool. And I just got to hook everything back up. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call it a night. So uh, everybody stay safe out there. Have a good week. All right, Rich. Keep your eyes on this 12-best monster running at some point over the weekend. Thank you Thanks guys. for coming in. I was telling my wife the other day, I go, I sometimes eat chips or eat veg, uh, vegetable, carrots or whatever. Uh, as a midnight snack and I go uh, like like why am I so hungry but we eat at six o'clock like it's it's been six hours since I had supper so like that's why like when I stay up late I'm freaking hungry so yeah I get that way but I can't eat after that <laughs> oh yeah and then you go to bed with your stomach full and that's not good that's why no. you have a big draw that's why you have a big cupboard full of m ms okay <laughs> Walk past the M and M's and eat M and M's. Yeah, I'll try yeah. to go to bed hungry. <laughs> I have to, or I regret it for the whole night. Hmm. Yeah, if I eat too much or eat whatever, and uh, it, during the night, yeah, I wake up in sweats because I've ate or whatever. So. Yep. Oh really? Yep. Growing old sucks. Yes, it does. Getting old is not for the weak at heart. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I've been, I've been enjoying doing some woodworking at the back. It was kind of fun. I was going to do a video, but I just was enjoying myself too much, just like concentrating and doing the the painting and the the box. Uh, was easy to do the box. It's it's doing the painting and the finishing work to make sure there wasn't any. Uh, because I was using plywood. So I had to use some wood putty and sand it, wood putty again, sand it. Like prepping it takes a long time. <laughs> oh, yeah, it can. And then when I went to spray my yellow, I start spraying the yellow. I go across once, twice, and all of a sudden the can stops. I go, what? <laughs> and then I press on it again and nothing, nothing's coming out. The can is brand new. And it was it was a dud, I guess. It, it just, oh. So I had to drive all the way to the store just to get another can and then come back. Like it stops works. Pretty I nice. had some liquid wrench that did that. Drove me nuts. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Hey RC Basher Boy, how you doing? Good evening. Hello, babe. In the chat. How's your grasshopper holding up, John? Hold up pretty good. I've only, I've only had it out running once. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, didn't, I didn't bring it out to the track this past weekend. Here, once once was good enough. I just got uh, working on the drag cars. We got a big money race this weekend, so. Yeah. Uh. Nice. Priorities. <laughs> What's that? Got priorities. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I had had a I think it's the servo that went, but something went wrong with my mud boss when I was running it. Uh oh. Stop, all of a sudden stops stop steering and when I go to turn it, it actually knocks out my transponder. Wow. Yeah. Oh really? Do you have a glitch buster yeah. you could put on it? Um no. I'll try that first. Well, like I said, the, the servo ain't even working, so that's why I'm wondering if it's uh something funny going on there or what. That's possible. Well, so I got forward and reverse, but no uh turning. Hmm. Church is not your receiver. Is that? I, I know. Like I said, I, I gotta, I gotta look at it, and I really haven't gotten into it yet. Did you check? The, did you check the endpoints, and you didn't accidentally turn the endpoints down on the remote? No, I didn't. I, I haven't. I didn't even. I was in the, actually in the middle of a race when I did it. So. All right. Well, that's why I'm thinking servo or something. You know. Yeah. All right. Yeah, some Got people. That. Oh, go ahead. What was it? Oh, sorry, I was just saying I got that all straightened out. <laughs> okay, cool. My, for my ATCO office uh, site, um, some people have been saying me it's it's not an office site until you put that air conditioning on the side. So yeah. I got to build a little the box. AC, and The AC sticking out of it. Yeah, so yeah, I got to cool. do that. That's cool. That's cool so we're going to end this stream and uh, we're going to go to uh, we're going to do an after hour party some of us are going to stay here and some of us are going to go so mm -hmm. um, thanks everybody for being in the chat um, don't forget to thumbs up and we're going to do a round table saying goodbye and since it uh, looks like John Martin is not ready so we'll go with him first <laughs> See you later. Have a good night. Everybody have fun. Charge back. Letters up and have a good weekend. Cool. Thanks, Bucks RC. Uh, Sean's RC Adventure. Hey, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to stop by, and we'll see you tomorrow night in Stable Days. Thanks. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you very much. Uh, Easy Froggy. Well, thank you, Frank, for having me on. Everyone stay safe out there. Go have some fun. Tony from CCXRC. All right. Thanks for doing this late, Tank. And uh, it's fun to jump in with everybody. Thanks for uh, tuning in and being a part of the chat. And we'll see you guys next week. Thank you. And my Canadian friend, Dr. RC. Thanks for having me, Frank. It's better late than never, I guess. And uh, <laughs> have a good weekend. <laughs> cool. Thanks, guys, and uh, thanks for coming in. Uh, sorry I was a little late, but um, ended up showing up. I'm full of dust. Uh, now I got to go get cleaned up because um, if I go to bed like this, my wife is going to shoot me. Uh, so talk to you guys later. Don't forget to keep those batteries full and have some fun. Talk to you guys later.